So you've written a script, you've filmed the video, and you edited this video, but the average view duration is only one minute. Don't jump to conclusions and blame algorithms for everything, it's quite possible that your videos are just boring. And right now, I'll show you five tricks that you use that actually make your videos boring. The first is your pause treatment. Yes, don't be surprised, pauses are a common problem in beginner's videos. Almost every YouTuber will agree that pauses can harm retention, and indeed, they can. However, the the problem is often with how the pauses are treated. Pauses are not inherently bad, but when a video is filled with long pauses, it can become boring to watch. Some creators try to solve this by cutting out all the pauses, but in their pursuit of retention, they forget the importance of pauses in storytelling. There should be pauses in speech, both short and long, as they are an important device in telling a story. Even a one second pause can have a huge impact on a video, allowing viewers to enjoy the video or reflect on what has been said. However, a second pause can also make people stop watching. Therefore, it is crucial to understand where pauses are needed and where they are not. If you do decide to cut out pauses in your video, it is essential to be careful not to cut too much. Always leave 10 to 15 frames before cuts to prevent the speech from becoming monotonous, unintelligible, and too fast. When the speech is too fast, the phrases can blend together, making it difficult for viewers to understand what is being said, which leads to disinterest. Even if the content is excellent, it may not be watched if the words cannot be made out. Therefore, it is crucial to be extremely careful when cutting out pauses. You need to feel your video and understand the importance of pauses in your story. Understood. The second trick that is supposed to improve retention but actually harms it is dynamic cuts to music. It is surprising how many good videos suffer from this issue. Admittedly, there is a logic to this type of cut. Fast cutting can create a sense of rhythm and speed, suggesting that the video itself is energetic, and fast paced. However, problems arise when young channels attempt this type of editing. If the frames are changed too frequently and blend into each other, it can lead to oversaturation and fatigue for viewer. Consequently, the viewer may lose interest in the video as they struggle to follow what is happening on the screen, needing to spend energy and attention on processing the stream of frames and musical beats. It becomes almost impossible to follow the idea of the video under such a heavy load. Additionally, if such dynamic cuts with music are made solely for the sake of cuts and not for the purpose of showing something, it will inevitably ruin the viewer's attention. After all, what is the point of watching 5 to 10 seconds of quick cuts if it doesn't convey any sense or meaning? If you do want to cut to the music, you need to create the right context for it. You can either directly warn viewers about the cut or accompany it with the voiceover. If you choose to use the voiceover, you need to slow down the pace of cutting and select frames that align with your words. In other words, cut into music needs to be done correctly and in a way that enhances the video, not detracts from it. And for quicker and more straightforward video editing, try using Movavi Video Editor that comes with the Movavi Unlimited subscription. Movavi Unlimited is a unique annual plan that brings together the best of Movavi in one intuitive platform. It not only includes Movavi Video Editor, but also programs for photo processing, screen recording, converting, as well as several useful applications for working with documents. Additionally, Movavi Unlimited provides one year of unlimited access to all sets of the Movavi FX Store. The platform's tools are extremely user-friendly, with source preparation, visual design, and photo retouching all being accomplished in just a few clicks. Unlike professional counterparts, Movavi Unlimited is accessible to a broad range of users. An annual subscription provides access to nine programs and an extensive collection of effects, all for the price of one application. And it also works great even on average computers. The price is good, but you can make it fantastic with our special promo code VLOG15. Follow the link in the description and use this coupon while checking out to redeem extra 15% off the price of Movavi Unlimited. Many beginner YouTubers often hear that music will save everything. But this is not entirely true. Music is a precise instrument that sets the mood and creates the atmosphere 
here for the video. Choosing the wrong music or using it excessively can lead to a loss of viewers' interest. It's important not to be lazy when choosing the right music. If the music does not complement or emphasize what is happening on the screen, it can create an uncomfortable feeling of disconnection between what is being seen and heard. Imagine watching a news report about hurricanes with a cheerful jingle in the background. It just doesn't fit. However, selecting the right music is only one aspect of the issue. The other problem is the emphasis and volume of the music. If the volume of the music is not balanced with the voice of the host or sound effects, it can be distracting and take away from the overall viewing experience. For instance, imagine watching our videos with a cheerful melody instead of my voice. It would be distracting. Therefore, music should only be used where necessary and in context with the subject. Don't add music everywhere in the hopes of improving retention. Instead, think about where each melody will fit best and what the appropriate volume should be. By taking such a responsible approach, the music in your videos will work better for retention. Another trick that people often use is frequent change of B-rolls. If you use high quality, expertly shot, stylish B-rolls, sure, why not? But most people simply use stock footage, which can hurt the overall quality. It's no secret that the quality of B-rolls directly affects how long viewers stay interested. If the video solely uses stock footage, even the best editing won't help. Stock footage is lacking in emotion and often differs in quality, speed, direction of movement, and more. It's challenging to find similar shots, let alone get them to match in style. However, shooting your own B-rolls can be tiring but effective in keeping viewers interested. Each B-roll will fit your needs in terms of style, resolution, and color, and shooting your own B-rolls can even save time in the long run. After shooting a few hours of footage, you can reuse the same shots in other videos. Shooting good B-rolls isn't as difficult as you may think. We created a comprehensive video that covers everything you need to know about B-rolls, including how to shoot them, how to make them interesting, and more. So be sure to check it out. In short, the better and more engaging your b-rolls, the higher the retention rate. Another popular trick that hurts retention is the effects. But not the effects themselves, but the variety and execution. On this channel, we show dozens of cool effects that everyone can repeat, but each time we forgot to add one simple advice, do not overdo it. Almost every video maker on YouTube will say that frequent effects help to keep the attention of the audience, but practice shows that it is balance and relevance that really work for retention. Let me explain. If your video has an effect every two seconds, such as animated text or sudden arrows or circles, the retention is likely to be almost zero. Overuse of effects can turn your video into a visual mess that only distracts from the content. The same goes for complex effects. If your effect is too complicated, it only appears on screen for a second, it's better to use a simpler alternative. It's essential to put effort in creating effects that will benefit the viewer. For instance, if you need to show the name of a person or location, simple animations built into the video editor will suffice. Do not rush to immediately fill the video with effects to the eyeballs. Think about each effect and its importance, and only then start. That way your effects will be meaningful and serve to enhance the overall quality of your content. Beginner editors make many mistakes, but all of them can be fixed easily. In our other vids, we explain and show editing techniques, ways to promote your channel, and much more, so if you want to know even more new and cool things, click here and here and see you in the next one.